Okay, so in this problem, we're naming every power of 10 from 10 to the negative 6 up to 10 to the 6th. And we want to describe the relationships we find and explain how this relates to the inverse properties of multiplication and addition. So let's just start by listing these numbers out. And I think you'll find some wonderful symmetry here. Um, let's start with 10 to the 6th versus 10 to the negative 6. So I'll, I'll pair those up, right? And I guess what I'll do is I'll write them next to each other. So 10 to the 6 and then 10 to the negative 6. Well, 10 to the, to the 6 is a 1 with 6 zeros. That's 1 million, right? That's a 1 followed by 6 zeros. So what then would 10 to the negative 6 be? Well, in a sense, it's the inverse of a million. It's one one millionth. So it's one millionth. And as a decimal, what that is, is the decimal point, right, five zeros, and then a one. So it does have one less zero. But what's really cool about these two numbers is that their names are related, but they're also, like I said, inverses of each other. If you think about what this will mean, um, when you add two numbers, let's say if I add um, 6 plus negative 6, these are sometimes called opposites, right? And what that means is that they're on opposite sides of the number line, right? If you have a number line, here's 0, here's 6, here's negative 6. So in a sense, they're an equal distance from 0, uh, but on opposite sides of 0. So if we add them up together, we get zero, right? They counteract each other. This is often referred to as opposites, but perhaps a, uh, a more official name, I'm not sure if I spell opposites right, sorry, uh, but a for more official name is the additive inverse. And all that means is um, when you're adding two numbers, the additive inverse is, is zero, right? If you add them up, you know they're inverses of each other. You know six and negative six are inverses, because when you add them, you get a zero. So here, what we're looking at actually, and this is, I think, so where the you see some beautiful symmetry, is the multiplicative inverse. That's what we're going to start to discover here. Is if you take one million and you multiply it by one millionth, what you get is one, right? One million times one millionth is one, and this is called the multiplicative inverse. And you can imagine, and what, what amazes me is that a student pointed this out in class, that these two things are related to each other. Just like when you add two numbers that are opposites, you get a zero. So when you multiply two numbers that are opposites or inverses, you get one. So, and they even stated this, that one is like uh, the balance point of multiplication. And what's, what's even, I think, more beautiful about this is when we apply our law of exponents, so if I take 10 to the 6th times 10 to the negative 6th, what, what's going to happen? Well, we add our exponents, right? And if we add our exponents, we get 10 to what? Well, 6 and negative 6 is 0, just like we did with our additive inverse. And that's equal to 1. So isn't that beautiful? I mean, here we're multiplying two numbers that are inverses, 10 to the 6th and 10 to the negative 6th, and we get 1 the multiplicative inverse. But when we apply our laws of exponents and add the ex exponents, we get our additive inverse. So the additive inverse, right, zero, defines the multiplicative inverse and gives us a one. This is a great connection here. So it just goes to show that when you multiply two numbers that are inverses, you get a one. And when you apply the laws of exponents, right, when you add those exponents, you get a zero, which represents, right, the exponent of zero represents the multiplicative inverse. And of course, zero is the additive inverse. This beautiful connection between these numbers um, just reminds me of how nicely all these pieces fit together. Um, and it's okay for math to be messy, but I love it when it fits together just like this. And this will keep going. If we have 10 to the fifth, right, what's that? Well, if we go one power less than a million, if we divide a million by 10, that's one power less, we don't get a million, we get 100,000. So I'll just, I'll just write 100,000. I don't feel like writing the word 100. And that's a 1 followed by 5 zeros, right? 1 less 0, or 10 to the 5th. If we take this and we look at its inverse, we get 10 to the negative 5th. 
right? And that's one hundred thousandth. So I'll put one hundred thousandth. And that, of course, means point zero zero zero, right? Four zeros and a one. This is ten to the negative fifth. If we multiply these two things, you guessed it, we're going to get one, or ten to the zero, which is one. Now this keeps going. Ten to the fourth, right? You can imagine not a hundred thousand, but ten thousand, right? That's a one followed by four zeros, ten to the fourth, versus its inverse, ten to the negative fourth. Or, as you can probably guess the name now, it's ten thousandth, right? That th at the end. And there we get a uh, three zeros and a one, now ten to the negative fourth. Multiply these two, and again we get one. And this pattern will continue, right? And we don't need to show every single pair, uh, the multiplication, but we but we should certainly go over the names. That's what we have here. So we have ten to the third. 10 to the negative third. What's that going to be? Well, 10 to the third's 1,000. 1,000 in words. Well, I guess I'll write the whole number out. Why not? 10 to the third. And this is 1,000th. Thousandth. Yep. And that is 0 0.001, or 10 to the negative 3. And again, multiply them and get 1, or 10 to the 0, which is 1. And keep going here. Okay, so now we're going to, I'm sure to more familiar numbers. Here we have 100, 10 squared, a 1 with two zeros, 10 to the second. Multiply this, of course, by 0 0.01. That's the inverse. 10 to the negative 2 is 1 hundredth. And 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the 2 is 10 to the 0, or 1. Here, 100 times 0 0.01 is 1. And almost done. Next we have 10 to the first times 10 to the negative first. Well here, this is just 1 10, or 1 tenth, right? Point 0.1, or 10 to the negative 1. Put one big X here, multiplied each of these corresponding parts. Multiply 10 by point 0.1, or 10 to the 1 times 10 to the negative 1. And either way, we'll get 1. And then lastly, this all balances around one thing. 10 to the 0, which is just 1, right? So here, just um, a couple of things. We have the additive and multiplicative inverses, uh, but also, again, um, aside from that, the names itself, right? Um, often we say 10 to the negative 6, and that's 1 millionth. Well, if you have 1 millionth, and you're trying to think, well, what would that be as a decimal? Think of 10 to the 6th, right? Million, right, is 10 to the 6th, and then you can think back, oh, one millionth is 10 to the negative 6. All I'm saying is if you're given this word one millionth, you need to write it out. And you're not sure how many zeros there should be. Just remember, it's inverse. It has six zeros, it's 10 to the 6th. And then, work your way backwards. Oh, well, if that's its inverse, then 10 to the negative 6 must represent one millionth, and that's this number right here. So you can work that way through it to remember how to write these down. All right, thanks a lot.